There are mainly two types of immunity. They are, active immunity, and passive immunity. Active immunity is defined as, the immunity that is generated following exposure to a pathogen. It is long-lasting, and sometimes lifelong. Active immunity can be either natural, or artificial. Natural active immunity occurs when a person is infected by a pathogen. A good example is, if a person is infected with the chickenpox virus, the person's immune system fights against the pathogen, and simultaneously develops immune memory for the virus. As he developed immunologic memory, suppose if the person is exposed to the same virus in the future, he will be able to fight against it quickly, without developing the disease. In other words, the person becomes immune to chickenpox disease, lifelong. Artificial active immunity is, the immunity developed by a person against a disease following vaccination. Vaccines are weakened or dead form of a pathogen, that is known to stimulate an immune response without causing infection. The best example is, vaccination against coronavirus, that allows the body to recognize and fight against COVID, with mild or no symptoms. Passive immunity is defined as, the protection from a disease provided by antibodies created outside of the individual's body. Passive immunity provides protection immediately. However, it is short-lived, as the received person cannot replenish the antibodies continuously. Passive immunity also can be either natural, or artificial. Natural passive immunity is, the immunity acquired through natural means, rather than medical intervention. This typically refers to, the passage of antibodies from mother to baby across the placenta, which is also called maternal passive immunity. These antibodies can protect the womb from infections. After birth, an infant continues to receive passive immunity to disease from antibodies found in breast milk, especially colostrum, the protein-rich milk produced in the first few days following birth. Maternal passive immunity is important for protecting infants, until their own immune system is mature enough to protect them. Artificial passive immunity is conferred by the injection of antibodies into an individual's body. These antibodies are generated by a different person, or animal, or artificially inside the laboratory. These antibody-containing preparations are termed antisera, and are used as a therapeutic treatment when there is a risk of some infections. Examples include, treatment following a bite from a potentially rabies-infected animal, or following a bite from a venomous snake. In both cases, appropriate antisera, or antivenom may be administered to offer passive immunity.